Have a seat. All right, let's get started, please. That means I talk and you be quiet. Laura Kitten, give me some more volume, please. Did we check and make sure that, there's our blue light on that top speaker, Ashton? Yes, okay, thank you. All right, uh, first, today, during Flex in this room, the representative from DBU, Dallas Baptist University, will be here to talk to juniors and seniors. If you guys are interested, hang around for that. Also during Flex today, we have session two of street evangelism with Coach Koskamp in room 130. So if you guys are interested in learning how to share your faith and getting prepared to do that here in Lubbock, then you guys uh, be sure that you go see Coach Koskamp during that time. Uh, tomorrow night, 7 p.m., Lubbock Christian High School Field is our last home football game. You guys come on out, support our seniors, support the team, uh, their last home game before they go to the playoffs. And then lastly from me, this Saturday at 3 o'clock at Abilene Christian High School is our uh, next round of playoff games for our volleyball team. They're going to be playing Grace Prep. I got to just say, it's going to be fun for them to beat them, but crowd support is a huge part of that. You guys do your best to get there and support our volleyball team. They are amazing and so much fun to watch. All right? And now we have a, uh, an announcement from Ms. Morin. We are on our second year of TAPS competition for the academic section of their, their competitions. After this class during, or after Cat Chapel in my class, we're going to do a flex meeting about anyone who's interested. The categories are anything from math to history to social studies, duet, solo acting. It's a wide range. If you have any interest or did it last year, please meet me in my room. And just remember that the, her art room is the far one, the one closest to the practice gym now. All right, stand up for pledges. I pledge allegiance I pledge allegiance I pledge allegiance
for me. Oh, 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 how great is your love. Oh, 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 how great your love is for me. Oh, 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 how great is your love. Oh, 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 how great your love is for me. Oh, 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 oh how great is your love. Father, thank you for this day. Uh, I pray that we have a good day today. I pray that we um, open up our ears to hear what the speaker has to say to us, and that we learn, take what we learn in here and apply it to our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. In a perfect world, food would be like nonstop every day, just three squared meals, and it's just, it'd be perfect. 17 million American children live in homes that are food insecure. It's everywhere. Just so everyone understands why it's serious, there's an educational consideration. It's pretty tough to focus on math or English if you're hungry. Secondly, it's a healthcare issue. Youngsters who are hungry take chronic diseases into adulthood, and you see substantially increased healthcare costs. You may think the issue of child hunger is one that affects the poor in rural communities or inner cities. The reality is the new face of child hunger might belong to the child next door. I have five children and I'm married and we can't find the work we used to have. My husband's a contractor. Just two years ago, Bonnie and I were you know, making like three, four thousand dollars a month and had steady work to go to and um, yeah, it just kind of just started dropping off. Now we've gotten so far behind on our bills that we've lost the house and there's just no work. We recently had to move into my mother's basement, so we're just really struggling right now to just stay above water. As a dad, I feel discouraged, you know, um, at the end of the month. Uh, you know, I've got little children, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to <laughs> with a tough economy, you're really dealing with the new poor, if you will, the people that have lost a job, the people whose jobs have been downsized. Are we at a crisis right now Absolutely. when it comes to hunger in America? Yeah, we are at a crisis. The face of America's hungry would probably surprise a lot of people. A lot of these folks would be considered middle-class people. No question, Al. I mean, the people that I've seen, especially in the last year, are people that were formerly employed teachers in the service industry across America, uh, and they've lost their jobs. Like many Americans, the Byler family is struggling to make ends meet, and it's a battle they're losing at the kitchen table. Uh, on my brokest week, I have no money to spend on food. I love cinnamon toast. Okay, eat your dinner. I feel like the hunger snuck up on us. Just kind of, one day you're hungry, you know? I mean, we might be scratching for as much change as we can to get two kids' meals or something like that off the dollar menu or whatever, and just kind of splitting it up with everybody and then maybe give them all beans. Sometimes I skip meals so my sisters will have another meal that I don't need. I get hungry. So guys, we just wanted to take some time to talk to y'all today about the You Can Share Food Drive, which starts today and will be going until November 10th, which is exactly a week from now. So in keeping with our theme for the year, which is asking why we do what we do, we wanted to take time to talk about why we do the canned food drive. 
And ultimately, we do everything we do because Christ first loved us. We're taking time to love the community around us by meeting their physical needs, like hunger, because Christ first loved us, and he provides for our needs daily, and he has blessed us so much. And it's our turn to take a really tangible way to be the hands and feet of Jesus by meeting the needs of the people who are right at home with us. Um, so we decided to pick a theme for this year, and our phrase that is our theme for the year uh, for You Can Share is, every can counts, every life matters. Whether you realize it or not, hunger is a really big issue in our country and even here at home. Texas is ranked third largest, or the third highest in the country for having the largest population of hungry people. And it really becomes real when you think about the fact that just in Lubbock ISD, 37.2% of kids are on free or reduced lunches, which means a lot of them will go home Friday afternoon having eaten lunch at school and not eat again until Monday morning when they get back from school. And that's just in Lubbock ISD. So as you're going about canning this week, we just want you all to take time to think about why you're doing what you're doing. It's not just to get really cool incentives, which there are some, but we want you all to really take time to think about how each can and each item you bring in is going to be impacting the life of someone here in Lubbock, possibly down the street from y'all. Okay, so in America, one out of eight people are struggling with hunger, and in Texas, it's one out of six, and then in Lubbock, it's one out of four. So if you received a red card when you came in, can you guys all stand up? Okay, so this, this is around one-fourth of the people in this room. So imagine this being the city of Lubbock. One-fourth out of everybody in Lubbock would stand up. That is a lot of people. So hunger is a real issue that we need to realize. Yeah, so just to reiterate our uh, mission statement, every can counts, every life matters. Uh, it, is, it is that way. You know, every can does count. You saw that video. I mean, the kid's going home and eating cinnamon toast. You know, it's like, what? I mean, I love cinnamon toast crunch or cinnamon toast, but I wouldn't have that as a meal. So just like athletes, like imagine going the weekend without eating and you go and have cinnamon toast and that's what you got to, that's what you're getting. You're not going to perform very well. All right, so here's what we're doing. All school goal, 20,200. That's a ton of cans, guys. Uh, for high school, we're going 16,120, so seventh grade, 25 cans per person. Y'all can do that? Samuel, you got that? Okay, thank you. Eighth grade, 35 per person. Eighth graders, yes. Pierce, you got that? I don't know if you're here. He's got that. All right. Uh, freshmen, we're going 45. Sophomores, 55. Juniors, 65. And then seniors, whoop, whoop, 75. Okay? So you can also bring, I think, 40, $45 is uh, what you can also bring if you can't get a hold of your cans, Okay? Um, what not to bring, or what to bring first. What to bring, whoa, okay, that's tiny. All right, I'll just tell, um, basically bring proteins, guys. Don't bring tomato paste, okay? Nobody wants to go home and have tomato paste, okay? Or ramen noodles, don't do it, okay? So like whole grain cereal, brown rice, canned fruits, vegetables, uh, dried beans, chicken and turkey, tuna, Salmon, canned fish, just get what you would want, honestly, guys. Don't, if you go home and, like I said, tomato paste, that's what you want, hey, guys, don't get it, okay? What not to bring? Uh, expired or dented cans. Uh, they won't take it. So, literally, like the You Can Share food drive, they can't take that. So, don't bring any of these. Raw noodles, expired or dented cans, nothing in glass jars. They drop, they break, can't use them, okay? Also, you don't want to eat expired anything like milk, mm, not going to do it. Um, let's see. Yes. All right, here's what y'all get. So junior high, individual goal. Y'all get a sweats day. If y'all bring y'all's cans, y'all get a sweats day, okay? Also, if y'all meet y'all's uh, goal of whatever it was, uh, you get $5 fun Friday on December the 2nd, so you'll go over to the practice gym and just chill, have pizza, uh, and just have a fun day. High school, uh, if you intend a canning party, you will also get a sweats day. So you have to attend one of those to get a sweat stay. Uh, and if we meet our goal, junior, seniors will have extended off campus, sophomores, freshmen, uh, you all go to Kingsgate. So that's sometime after Thanksgiving. We're not really sure. We don't have a planned set date yet. But yeah, so those are the rewards. But okay, again, don't do it because you're getting a reward, guys, okay? Remember, one out of four people here are struggling with hunger. And it's not like people who are just going home and they just don't have like like food, like you see like the poor people. No, it's, it's people who are almost right next door. It's a middle class sometimes where they just don't, they don't want to admit it or something, okay? So I'm um, going to give it to Reagan now, and he's going to tell you all some good stuff. 
All right, guys, so as Abby said before, that there are a lot of kids in schools across Lubbock that get lunch on Friday and don't get to eat again until Monday for breakfast. So in keeping with that time, we're going to have a fast this weekend that we're going to ask you guys to participate in from the end of school on Friday to the beginning on Monday. And I wanted to read you guys a scripture to go along with it. And it's Isaiah 58, verse 6 through 7. It says, no, this is the fasting I want. Share your food with the hungry and give shelter to the homeless. So if you guys could just uh, give up something like maybe sugar, TV, and that would include Netflix, and, uh, or music, and just to spend time in prayer for these people. And I uh, just want to remind you guys that fasting is more than just dieting. So you guys spend time in prayer and be thinking about these people and be praying that uh, God will give you a heart for these people and be asking what he wants you to do to be effective in this week of canning. Again, excellent job, you guys. Remember, every can counts, every life matters. This is a great way to show Christ's love. And now we will close in prayer. Close in prayer. (laughs) Most holy Lord, thank you for another opportunity to bring honor to your name. I pray that you will give us a spirit of generosity as we serve you through serving those in need. In Christ's holy name, amen. Or we dismiss? We're dismissed to class.